Radiant Flux Hyperfractal is a game within a game. Locking into the game will present players with an interface very similar to a Windows 95 desktop. You are invited by a mysterious individual to start hacking with his custom software called Radiant Flux Hyperfractal. Taking this program will begin a set of trials as it were, though much of the story has to be really inferred. Despite the game's emphasis on hacking, Radiant Flux is a twin stick shooter with kind of a Pong-like twist. Every level in Radiant Flux is set between yourself and the defense of a firewall. This defense mechanism shoots out pixelated ships and monsters that look like they were ripped straight from Space Invaders or something similar, gliding around a vast open 3D space. The juxtaposition between the dark background pulsating with a 3D purple object as 2D ships zoom around and explode with cheap effects looks fantastic. The flat objects really draw the eyes, so much so that the entire time I was playing made me want it on the 3DS with full 3D support. Nothing about the actual design of the art is good, but the way it's used is interesting to say the least. Anyway, as ships and creatures zoom towards you, your little ship can fire back in three ways. First, there's an extra hacking tool attached to your primary vessel that acts like a spread shot, but it has limited ammo. Once that ammo is depleted, it will launch across the screen as a massive destructive orb of doom. If one happens to get it back, the hacking module will be fully reloaded and ready for more action. While it's a way a standard one-line burst of energy can be fired, which is fine, but given the amount of enemies on screen, it's like signing a death warrant if you don't try and catch it again. Of course, like most shooters, there are also bombs that take out anything on screen with a clean blast. While firing away at foes will boost your score, the goal is to strike the firewall, which, like your secondary ball attachment, will fly across the screen, and that's kind of where my Pong comparison kicks in, and also ends. Each stage of 5 has no end, so they're more like survival modes or wave-based combat. Eventually, no matter how good your piloting skills, the defense will swarm your ship to an overwhelming degree that there is no hope for victory, but that's fine as the mysterious individual watching doesn't expect perfection. Instead, he'll reward you based on fairly simplistic scores, which not only unlock the next level, but new hacking tools as well. For example, the first reward is a painting program that allows you to customize a ship in a small box. If one wanted, they could simply fill in the box with a single color. Or, as most are tempted to do, draw genitalia because, you know, why not? There are also three minigames based on Minesweeper, Bomberman, and Doom. They all function fine, but are encased in a tiny window on the desktop, and so their enjoyment is diminished, especially compared to the actual hacking game of Radiant Flux Hyperfractal. Not all rewards are cool, like the bouncing screensaver that literally does nothing to heighten enjoyment. There's also a comedic side to Radiant Flux that brings up meme humor, but doesn't go all the way with it, so it kinda just falls flat, feeling pointless. But you can call everything in Radiant Flux Hyperfractal pointless, really. Instead of bringing up funny videos of animals or growing genitals, there's that word again. The game could have been better if the gameplay was expanded upon in the main mode. Instead, we wind up with a confusing hodgepodge of ideas that go nowhere. Plus, on top of that, I was able to unlock everything in pretty much an hour. Radiant Flux Hyperfractal is an odd package with a sound but not great arcade game locked inside. The main mode lacks tight controls in the variety of most twin stick shooters, but it's fun regardless for a time and spouts some simple but unique graphics. The emails, tools, and minigames included were a nice touch that were sloppily implemented to give the game a gimmick like another Tax Games product I just reviewed, Octocopter. Like Octocopter, the $3 price tag is inviting for those really craving a Wii U title before they upgrade to the Nintendo Switch next year, but other than that, it's just an average game. Did you know that was a Reaction Examiner video? If you liked it, you should subscribe to me to keep up with everything that I'm doing. Also, if you have some other interests, like sex for example, check out Tomops, which is a comedy sex podcast thing wherein my best friend and I check out the weird and abnormal and the erotic. And of course you should support me on Patreon because hey, I want to make the channel better and I want your help to do so. Plus, if you want to check out my writing, check out Game Jerk, where I have archives and new stuff for all projects, okay? You can find all the stuff and more in the description with the links below. 
Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.